I think it's exciting that you, you made something new that holds its own with all the great stuff. Are we allowed to say I loaned you my fair child for a year and a half? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wanted to say that. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I feel like I got one that's really good, and that's, you know. Yeah. They're all different. The thing about any old piece of gear, they're all so different. Yeah. I felt like I had a, a you know, a one that sounded the way I, I, I thought they should sound, and, and you were able to make a new piece of gear come in and just <laughs> no know, take it from there and, and do your own thing with it. Magic fingers. Well, what I liked about this, it does what all the best gear does. There's a knob, and you dig deeper into it, mm -hmm. and it sounds better. And then there's a couple options for the release times. Yeah. And that's it. And that's that's what's so beautiful about about the piece of gear. And I think the best gear does that. And this this is one of those pieces of gear you just kind of turn into. Start doing something really cool, and then people say, "You know what you're doing," and that's my favorite. Gear. <laughs> and it sounds like those right. records I like too. You know, I love '60s. You know, American and British records. It does that thing, and it does it really well. And it does it in a way that's that. Uh, in a way, it has a little bit more air than some of the old stuff. You know, because it's, it's mm -hmm. fresh, it's mm -hmm. new parts, and it's uh, it's exciting that you can build new gear that holds its own with all this great old stuff that I'm tired of fixing. <laughs> right. The great thing about the RS660 is that uh, it kind of works on everything. But it's amazing how you really, with a good drummer and a good set, there's a lot of it's the drummer, of course, but uh, and tuned pretty good, how big it sounds. Yeah. I got to meet Jeff Emmerich, who's one of my heroes, top two heroes of all time. Scared to death of the guy. And um, I asked him about his use, this compressor on the toms and overhead for drums and this compressor on a, on, on a kick. He's like, no. He's like, one would assume it was one track of drums on those records. I was like, okay. He's like, one would assume I used one compressor. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Here's a fair shot only. That's what, he, that's what he told me. Yeah. And so that RS660, one channel of drums, which we'll show a little example okay. of, it just does it. It makes it things work together and all right check it out here's my terrible ringo drumming uh trying to play as good as i can with no compression now watch the magic of editing it will compress it makes something that sounds small just go and it did and it sounds finished yeah